I don't understand why the government have been so like they got they guys I don't know if they see we as a threat because they've been frustrating this organization. I've been back and forth at Lands Department. The commissioner, you can't get here again. They're going to have you in some long lines. Then for, for by the time you reach the line, I tell you, you have to come back tomorrow because this is the amount of people. That's disrespect to the thousands of people I represent, the hundreds of people who are going there. You're supposed to go say, all right, make a this in a nice manner. Give me an appointment so I could sell it out. I've been requesting that they take a look back at the purchase price agreement. Many of my people coming back to my office talking about the government charging them fifteen hundred dollars for their purchase price. No, no, a thousand. That was an agreement made by cabinet. That's something we cry for. We ball for and ask them for be. Have only we only heart when they drop this price. Power. When the minister been selling land to his family members for one hundred and eighty dollars an acre, seventy eight dollars an acre, and so you are going turn around to the grassroots people and say we thousand dollars an acre. However, we don't want to back and forth to decide when I work for a thousand dollars and pay for it. Not to, to realize they, they may frustrate me and take it long as far as giving our papers. We can't get our papers. People can't get entitled. Some people go go pay their name still is not registered in the system. We have some other people there who have been settling the land in at the buffer era. Now, land's department, after we may make this plan and draw this plan, we took the plan and asked them, all right, what do you think of this plan? Commissioner said, all right, I want to make an adjustment here. I want you to put in a buffer zone here. So you want to come in some more. You want to lift this reserve so we could build the roads later on. All right, we agree. So we put one buffer zone in. When we came the buffer zone back with the map, they approved the map. We gone ahead, we pay with surveyors over four hundred thousand billion dollars to get that job done. Um, not to realize now that we've been back and forth asking the land department to ask the people who have been settling the buffer. Now only about eight to ten and then it builds on Lee Shack, where two, three days then build a house and that don't build. Start, start, start Friday, Sunday that house don't build. By the time you turn your back one house done the day. You know, I mean and so I've been asking the government, please, go start all the situation. Take the police, do the job at the state. I, as the landowner, I'm asking you to please ask these people to vacate the area. Now, the only thing, the other thing, Mr. Moody, we had reserved land for them. We left land for their people already in the buffer. We tell them, all right, you have to move the, from the buffer. However, we're going to piece of land off you. We're going to acre for you. You need to pay just like every Belizean. You need yeah. to go through the, and, and so forth. Make sure that Belizean too. And that's where the problem gets in because we have... Um, people from the red side, from, from the government side, to the, who, the influencing people, you have people from the blue side who influence the people as well. They tell them, oh, don't worry about the, um, the authority out there, don't worry about Petio, the buffer not for Petio, the government understand the buffer. That is wrong. You who do that, that is wrong, big man. I want to know yourself. You provoke the situation. I don't know the bad man, yeah. But the way how I see it, like, like, like the target for your organization, they're hoping that we feel, we can't feel. We know how feel. We have to do 